Hello, my dear Scorpios. Welcome to your July 13th uh, reading. This is going to be your reading for uh, love or money or finances, so whatever comes out. I just hope this helps you on your journey of healing or your direction in life. So um, I am a spiritual healer and empath, so uh, there are people that comes in me to try to hurt my channel with saying terrible things, uh, but I do delete those messages. So for that uh, terrible person out there who wants to come on my channel to discredit me or whatever, you know, you can take yourself on, okay? I'm be showing my Scorpio self today. Uh, you will be deleted, okay? So if you show any kind of negativity or terrible comments on my channel, you will be deleted and blocked and reported to YouTube. So don't mess with me, toxic people. So there's some narcissistic people that comes on my channel that's trying to attack my channel. Um, Sapphire, especially, you've been leaving terrible comments. So if this is for Sapphire, if you come on my channel, you will be reported to YouTube. All right. So and you'll lose your YouTube rights. So anyway, don't come on harassing me. All right. So anyway, Scorpios, this is I'm staying strong for you, Scorpios. I hope that you're all great. Uh, and thank you for the 19,362 subscribers. Thank you so much. I mean, I'm very uh, honored and very uh, appreciative of you following me. And I hope that I'm bringing benefits to your life and to help you on your healing journey against these toxic and narcissistic people that wants to ruin your life. So just kind of keep that in mind, Scorpio. But let's see what the angels have for you, your message using the angel cards today. I have not used these cards in a while, so I thought I would just use them. I felt like using them. So let's see what you have. Okay. Right. Okay. More than. Okay. So you have uh, let your friends help you. This could be the one true love and retreat. Okay. Retreat came out second. So these cards, I do kind of go in order. Um, let your friends help you. Scorpios, you might be going through a hard times right now. I know you like to not let nobody know your business and you like to be private and you want to handle everything on your own, Scorpio, I understand. Um, but take this time to let your friends in a little bit to help you with whatever you need. Uh, talk to them. Um, you might need someone to help you out with financially. I don't know. But let your friends help you, okay? Um, retreat. Don't forget to kind of take some time out. I know you like being alone. <laughs> but do take some time to go out and um, disconnect. You know, get off your phones. Get off the internet. Take a walk. Go hiking, go walking, go get a massage, whatever you need to do to put, get your mind. I feel like right now, Scorpio, with that card, you are going through a difficult time. And that um, your divine energy is telling you that, okay? That you're going to have to disconnect from people that are no longer serves you. Um, there is some true love here. There's some true love that's coming. And that's also including yourself to truly love yourself. But this could be the one... Um, you may have met someone that you did not like because maybe attraction or maybe someone who might not fit the profile of what your ideal person. Scorpio, remember this person can be the one for you to be good to you, to be respect you, to take you on a different place. So don't always discredit people by the way they look. Give them, give them time. Give them give yourself enough time to know them by their heart. And you might naturally fall in love with that person, okay? So I'm going to put these cards up and just kind of make space for the other cards. So if you're going through a difficult time, I completely understand. But make sure you take some time for yourself, okay? I'm going to move my chair over just a little bit. All right. So, all right. I hope you're doing well. So let's see what's coming out. Angel guys, it's beautiful. Okay, let me get to the quiz. <laughs> I did meditate before I uh, got online. Um, so... Make sure that you, these cards are so stiffed. So let's see. So this is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. And thank welcome cross watchers or any tarot readers. All right. There's a lot of jealous people in this world. I could tell you that of you, Scorpio. They're jealous of your being. So never change for someone. Walk in your divine uh, energy. Okay. So let's see. And you got spirit. Stay close with God or the religion that you believe in. Stay close and protect your heart and keep your heart of love full. So, angel guys and spirit, show me the cards is meant for Scorpio. What is the main card for Scorpio to know? All 
All right, uh, you have a high priestess. Yeah, you're not um, following your intuition here. Your mind, this is what I just said that um, your divine energy is low, Scorpio. You're not watching your spirit and filling yourself of your spirit. So you have the Wheel of Fortune here as well. So let's get um, some more cards for Scorpio. You have the Emperor in reverse. I mean, I'm sorry, the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So let's see. Ooh, okay. The card just wanted to go out of my hand. Here you have the Nine of Pentacles. I'm going to turn this light up a little bit so you can see the cards most, hopefully better. Um, and you have the Six of Cups. Oh, please. Let's put this here. And then I'm going to move it into another energy. There's a pentacles here. Wants to not pentacles. Pentacles and the ace of pentacles has it here. This was out of card. Alright, Scorpio. Okay. Alright, Scorpio, you have the the main card here is the high priestess in reverse, following your feelings. Uh, Scorpio, on this energy just want to talk about it, like your spirit is you're not being in touch with a divine, okay? Um, you might need to pray more, meditate more, to get closer, to get your answers. I know some of you have been very hurt, very devastated, crying alone, even outside in your chair, okay, or in your bed. You have been crying, and you need to get in touch with a higher divine to know that they are there to help you. So you're trying to handle this situation alone, and that's not the way to do it, Scorpio. You need to go pray, get closer to God, and um, whatever religion you believe in, okay? Because your intuition here, your feelings, your confidence, everything, you're not feeling like the way your true enlightenment should be feeling, okay? But the Wheel of Fortune is here. The Wheel of Fortune is something about it's going to be moving to, um, to, to force a change on you. Now, I know things might seem difficult right now, might seem struggling, might emotionally or financially or but it might be in a difficult difficult situation right now but understand that because you, your spirit here is low um the universe is forcing you to make a change so we're going to see what that change is so it is something here where you're you're letting go of something and the four of pentacles it might make you feel shaky about life in general shaky about your love life financial life you might feel shaky with that and what i mean by that is not feeling you know the unknown you might feel like you're afraid of what of the unknown that's come come towards you but don't worry scorpio you have the nine of pentacles here to save you the nine of pentacles means your money's going to be okay you're going to be okay okay i need you to put that in the comments I will be okay, okay, because it is. Um, you have stopped the conflict of with this energy. There's something here where your energy was trying your best to work something out, to trying to get it to work, to try to, you know, just kept trying here with the five, um, the five of wands here. You just try to keep coming with it to try to work it, but the conflict, you're coming out of that conflict because I feel like here you just kind of, you know that's the best thing to do. You got to get away from that energy that has been conflicting you, who's been pulling you down, and who has been putting you in a bad situation. Um, whatever that is, it could have been toxic. So you did have, and the reason I say that is because you have the six of cups here. You do have some. The reason this you're trying to get out of this conflict is because you did have some hope to reconcile with someone, or get back with someone um, to understand life and what is going on and to follow your six of cups energy and the six of cup energy is not just about reconciling but it's also about doing what's best what is right for you and then and feeling that energy feeling that love okay 
that you have the five of pentacles here that you felt abandoned by someone neglected by someone someone who took advantage of you and you knew coming out of that conflict even though you wanted to get back with this person you knew you had to work walk away from this because this was not the energy is the bad timing i don't know but divine timing could be wrong but um it does feel like you walked away from a situation and it's holding on to you though you know you wanted this badly to work out and this energy that you you know i you cannot emotionally your your mind peace of mind is being bothered your peace of your heart is being bothered and this is why you had to walk away because you could not stay in that situation you have the queen of cups in reverse the queen of cups is talking about losing herself losing her happiness even losing love for yourself you had to get away from this energy that is no longer it could be your job too you know whatever it is but um you had to get away from this committed per person that you were 100 percent committed to they weren't bringing you anything okay you were committed to this person hmm. so you have the tentacle pen pentacles so it does show energy here where you were giving 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 but it was not going anywhere ace of pentacles ten of pentacles here you were giving so much to this this person that and it could be a family member you were helping a lot of people here okay and while you were helping them they were taken from you and that's why i said they were taking advantage of you taking parts of you that should have not they shouldn't have done but there's people like that right there's people out there that are givers and there's people out there as takers and people who waste your time there's people out there who would take your time as but i do feel like you put a stop to it so let's see what your remember your energy of the high priestess in reverse is the main energy okay angel anything else for scorpio to know what does scorpio need to know so remember let your friends help you in your bad moments okay scorpio family you have the not eight of cups that means you're searching for new things new beginnings walking away from something that you know was bad for you you're staying very strong here so Scorpio, I mean, I know you, okay, you, you, you walk around with a smile on your face, and but inside, you need support, and you need love, and you need, but you're trying to stay strong on the outside, it's okay, that's why you need to retreat, that's why you gotta let your friends help you, two more cards for Scorpio, please, show me the energies for Scorpio, okay, you have the seven of cups in reverse, you felt like someone put you as a second option, or... We weren't given okay i'm sorry seven and you have the seven of wands you may have blocked this person you're not allowing them to come near you or around you but three of cups or something here you're waiting for so let me clarify that and we're going to move into the next reading what does this three of wands mean angel guys spirits what does scorpio need to know what is the reading for three of wands all right you are waiting you might be deciding to move you might be deciding to go to a new place sell your house or move to a new location taking a you feel like you need a change of life here um and you're waiting and and you are thinking about it also when i say you're waiting you are um trying to make these changes and you're trying to really reflect on what is going on what you need to do and how to do it okay but i do feel like you're sitting there but you are with this person that you blocked or got them out of your life um with that seven of cups you're saying you know what i don't need you i don't need you to be happy you know, i'm not being your option if you don't and this person didn't value you all right so let's see let's move into the next read so that is about you standing up for yourself and and the justice card just came out so let's let me call in the angels angel god spirit show me the cards for scorpio now um this is about something you need to do scorpio to heal yourself to get back into a new position for your life make changes in your life 
um, that you know you don't need this person to be happy, okay? But let's see what this is talking about up here. Let friends help retreat. We know about that true love, and this could be the one. So, angel, guys, and spirits, let me show about Scorpio. Now, sometimes I'm getting too is that you may have to let this person go to let them learn to lose you so they can love you more. I'm not saying you have to take them back, but sometimes people don't know how to handle you, Scorpio. They mishandled you. And that's why you walked away. But sometimes people have to leave. Some people are not meant to stay with us forever, you know. But the right person... Yeah, I just feel like this person don't know what they want. Getting that energy. So let's see what for Scorpio's person. Queen of Swords. Now this is going to be from your person. Oh, I said did call in for you, didn't I? Oops, let me say it again. Angel, guys, and spirit, show me the energy for Scorpio's person. What is the intention from Scorpio's person with true love? And this could be the one. What is the meaning? Show me the cards. Angel, guys, and spirits for Scorpio with true love. And this could be the one. So this could be the one. I feel like... But I'll, oh, there's Harfoot in reverse, too. Alright, so what does this mean? Let's put the puzzle pieces together. Okay, this is from your person's point of view. Um, hmm. They're waiting, too. They're thinking about what to do. This breakup and this heartbreak. So true love. There is a signal here. The hyphenate is saying. Hmm. One more, please. Source. Yeah, you, you kind of block this energy. This person could have been a player, came in your life and played with you, but they, again, in that other video I just did yesterday, they stopped playing with your heart and your feelings because you won't let them play with you anymore. And underneath that card um, was the Empress and also the um, Lover's card here and the Player's card. So they are stopping the playing. They, they understand this is a soulmate connection. They do know, like, the longer that you're apart, they start recognizing something special about you. That you, you maybe you didn't even see yourself. But they do know you're a special person and you're a beautiful person. And so this is what they had learned between all these fights and disagreements and arguments and things going on. So they are by themselves right now with a hermit card. They are so searching. Um, they are alone. They are, like, they're trying to figure out things and what to do. They're very confused. They're very, very confused about this relationship and what it has taught them about you and what they need to do as a man or a woman, how to treat, be treated. This person did not treat you right. They do are start understanding why you don't want to be around them. And they're, and you have just kind of splattered their ego. Okay, Scorpio, you did splatter their ego. Um, they are heartbroken about this situation. They feel sad. They feel lonely. Um, and they wanted this relationship, but they just didn't have the, the skills like they couldn't understand where you were coming from. They think, every, you know, if you don't say anything, they just want you to be quiet, Scorpio, and let the relationship, you know, kiss, hug, and intimacy and all those things. But they didn't know, they could not feel your emotional needs. They don't understand these things. So the Queen of Cups, they feel like here in the Queen of Cups... You know, you're taking your love. I mean, they actually think this. They think you're taking, you have other people, and you may have told them that you're dating other people or out other people, and you stop, you're not going to give your couple up to them anymore. So that has made them realize thinking that you have someone else. So, in that regard, they do think or think it about you. They are reflect, reflecting and figuring out what they're going to do, and they're, they're hoping that they, this can be solved. Um, in the long run, but they are very confused. Right now, they're not coming towards you. They do feel like you are giving your love out to someone else, so they're holding their love back as well. 
There is the judgment card. Uh, this is your energy, Scorpio. Uh, they feel like you took a decision on them, but it's almost like both of you took a decision, okay? Because on their side of this card is, um, you know, they don't want to give out their love, and now they're making this decision about what to do. So, uh, but you, that you feel like, you know, you decide to move on and find someone else. But they're juggling this idea. They're back and forth in their head about this decision. But they, they may have blocked you too um, to show you that they don't need you. Like the way you block them up here. They are not, you know, don't, are trying to give you that, um, they're trying to give you that com not speaking to you, communication, or, you know, not talking to you. So they're in that energy. Okay. So that's what's going on with your person. They feel like they're just all, they thought that this person was playing to me juggling. And I do feel like they came in and out a lot here with the juggling. And you just got tired of it and burned out over it. Like, I'm, I'm just tired of this whole situation. And you just kind of made, and that's why you told them I have someone else. Because it's, you wanted this person to quit coming in and out of your life. So you may pull out your stinger on that person and told them with this, um, it made them mad. And it made them upset. They're like, okay, I'm not going to talk to Scorpio because she, he or she's got someone else. They're communicating with someone else. I'm not going to talk to Scorpio. They're being very, um, I mean, I get it, but at the same time, they feel like you, you know, they have been doing you crappy and they did mistreated you, mishandled you. And so you gave them something to hurt them back or they feel like you have hurt them back. You were seeking revenge on them, emotional revenge, because they were doing this to you, and now they're getting a taste of their own medicine, how badly they hurt you. But they did feel like this was a soulmate connection. They never felt anything with anyone like this, with the Empress and the Knight of Wands, or even what was willing to stop playing around. But they, I think it was too late. So show me what Scorpio's person in the next seven days is going to do. Um, or let's do... I don't think it's seven days because I see seven here a lot. But let's see what your person is going to do in the upcoming. What should Scorpio expect from this person? Now, this is a general read. If you'd like a personal reading, reach out to me on your own specific situation. Remember, this is for all Scorpios in the world. So just take what resonates. If it does not fit your story, it's okay. Another energy will be tomorrow. What is Scorpio's person expecting Scorpio's person to do? What's the outcome? Okay, yeah, they're mad at you for right now. They're very mad. They are working. They are working, just keeping themselves busy. Um, they are like not coming towards you. They're kind of like they feel that this is not going anywhere too, and they wanted it, but they because you had some kind of big fight here. Remember, you're not having that conflict. You're not dealing with it, but they feel conflicted about why you are being the way you are. You have kind of went a little bit um, different on them. And I feel like you have changed your energy because you have someone. But the Ace of Swords is here saying they do want to communicate with you in the future. But they do have an understanding how they treated you. And they, you, you put these boundaries up. And you're not tolerating it. And so they, they do have this understanding of what you're looking for and what did you want. It. They're starting to get it. You know what I mean? They're starting to feel what you were the whole time for a year six months a year two years however long you were with this person they start whether they're with they're, right now they're not with you and i don't know if they're coming back okay but i'm just saying and they're thinking they do understand how dirty they did you and they do understand what you deserve and what you were looking for so here you have the full card and the five of swords they are mad because they feel foolish or they feel like you were being silly too nonsense they think you brought in some nonsense and it made them mad whatever you said or did it pissed them off you know it made them mad it's making them it depends on the fire sign you could have been dealing with some kind of yeah fire sign here um or um an air sign 
not sure, but it could be for anybody, right? There's a Gemini up here. So anyway, um, anybody could be this. So they do feel foolish or how they behaved, but or what they said to you or you said to them. Let me just get a little bit more information. Show me some more cards for this person, Scorpio, for Scorpio's person. What's their intention, upcoming intention with Scorpio? They just think you're, yeah, they, they feel like they're still going to want to work this out. They're just miserable right now without you. They they think um, without you they're not gonna be happy. They can they're not gonna have like they think you know you're the person. But they just didn't make a move with you. They didn't change anything. Well, I'm talking about change Scorpio. They didn't change. They didn't change the outcome. And you've been telling them you and you know you have been telling them don't lie to me. And they, but they feel like this has been a mental game to them. Don't ask me why. They feel like you brought illusions, but their feelings are they're miserable without you. They're thinking about you all the time, even if you're not together. The moon card is there. They're heavily in their emotions. You may be dealing with, um, but they do want change here. Right, well, this person, it's like it's, it's not for you. You feel like it's too late for, for them. They want to change this outcome for the opportunity to love again. They, they feel like, you know, you gave up on love or they gave up on love, but they want this opportunity again to change this outcome. They want to reconcile. There's the King of Pentacles in reverse. Something about this person in their life, they're not happy in their, their lifestyle. Maybe where they live, the same you're wanting to change, they want to change where they live. And they're manifesting you, Scorpio. They are very, very mess, and they have to be blocked too. So you both are in the energy of like taking a space or take, getting away from each other. You feel like this is a breakup. You feel like this is going to last forever. But the way it looks here, the opportunity of love, um, they do feel like they're you know let the time go. Um, you know, let the time show itself. Let time and reveal itself. And in time, here the hourglass is in reverse, so it's kind of pouring out. And so the the love too, but they do want to reconcile though. They want to fix this situation and change this whole situation. But whoever this is, they're in the King of Pentacles. They feel like, you know, um, they don't like where they live and what they're doing. So they're manifesting better for themselves and trying to fix things for themselves, but they are blocked. Yeah, they did block you too, or they're very mad or upset with you. So this is not a good time to reach out if you're in no contact, okay? All right, so they got the strength. They do feel in this toxic energy. They do want to heal their addictions and whatnot. So they have a lot of, they feel unstable. They feel um, insecure here. Yeah, so they don't know about their future. So that's the whole thing. But they are wishing for you back for an opportunity to talk with you. And they don't want to walk away from you. They are the king of wands too. Or you're the king of wands. They feel like they have still have a lot of passion for you. They think, think great of you. Okay, there's that commitment. Ooh, okay. Oh, gosh. Okay, so these are the last three cards I'm going to show. Um, they have the king of wands. They just want to be happy and be in a couple relationship. They're now understanding what commitment means. This person may have been non-committal to you, and that's the whole. That was the whole root of cause of the breakup. Okay, so Scorpio, I'll leave it here. This has been a 28-minute reading. This is a full reading. If you'd like a personal reading, I go for an hour, so it's sixty dollars for the whole hour, um, including advice. So reach out to me if you want a personal reading on your own situation. I'm going to help as many people as I can to heal and get them on the right road and help you understand your situation. I am a spiritual healer and empath, so I want to help you. So feel free to reach out. I will set up a time and through Zoom, and we will get we can talk, okay, face-to-face -face if you want. So leave it here, Scorpio. Make sure you give me that like. Look at the other videos to see if there's any that uh, resonates for you that you may have missed. Um, in the past week or two weeks and kind of see where your the timeline is at and that might help you understand where we're at today okay so if this was not your reading check out the other ones and it might help you understand the energies of changing and flowing always change is always constant right so Scorpio thank you so much if you like join the Scorpio family community please hit that like button and subscribe to your channel and the notification bells to get the videos uploaded when I upload okay take care Scorpio and I'll see you on the next reading. Send a love and light. Bye-bye.